Hey, this is Adam McCurdy with Xenos. Uh, today, I'm going to go over how to monitor your Control Center instance in Xenos Resource Manager. Uh, it's important to do this on every instance that you have uh, in order to keep an eye on the overall health of your, your system and your services. Uh, it's particularly important to monitor your, uh, your file system utilization. Um, and we'll go into that a little bit later. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the, f the first thing you need to do is uh, let's let's set up the credentials. So we're we're going to do this here on the uh, on the control center device class. Uh, you see, I've already got the properties filtered here. Um, if you had multiple instances of control center with different credentials, you could add the devices uh, and then go back and edit the devices in this exact same way to supply them with their own local copy of these credentials. Uh, since I've only got one control center instance here, I'm just going to do it on the device class. This use case would be um, also valid if you had multiple control center instances that all used the same credentials. So I've got my root user here and specifying my control center password. Now that I've got these updated, we see that we have this is local flag, and so these are locally set to the control center device class. Uh, and now we will add our device. So my device is uh, 10.90.36.117. I'll just add that guy. Okay, so I've got my device added. Uh, I've waited about 24 hours or so for it to get some graph data so it's a little bit interesting so the first thing we can look at here is uh, anytime you add a device it's always a good idea to just go look and see if you have any events for that device they'll let you know if you have any sort of modeling failure or uh, you know maybe problem with credentials or something like that so we look a-ok -okay here uh, let's go look at our components so we've got we've got a resource pool with a host in it a uh, handful of services running uh, and uh, we've got this is this is a really important part here our our service e volume um, and our, our docker thin pools these uh, this is probably the the biggest thing that you want to ensure is, is you have working in any instance um, so what we're looking at here is a graph for used and available space on your service D volume. Uh, so what this volume is, uh, is a repository or, you know, it's your DFS, right, where all of your application data lives. It's where your um, performance data, it's where your events, it's where your devices, all your templates, uh, all of that stuff lives here. So it's really important to monitor it. If we go look at the templates defined for this uh, this component we've got two out-of-box thresholds here we've got your tenant volume low space threshold so this is a uh, this is a 80 percent warning severity threshold that's uh, enabled out of box we've also got a very low which is kind of your final warning uh, of 90 percent um, that is an error severity so these these are here out of box uh, we have very similar threshold set for your uh, your Docker thin pools. Uh, it's important to to set up some sort of notification or or something along those lines so you get notified and you understand when you may be getting dangerously close to running out of file system uh, space. So uh, if you don't, you know, if you, if you don't keep an eye on this, if you get into a position where you're going to run out of storage uh, in Control Center 1.3 the services will go into an emergency stop state so uh, 1.3 and higher so basically your resource manager services will will shut down until you take action to restore space and clear that emergency stop flag so uh, that's unplanned downtime it's better than uh, better than data corruption which is what would likely happen if you were to run out of space pre control center 1.3 um, and that's never fun to uh, to clean up uh, you may end up having to restore from backup if something like that happens. Um, and that's why it's really important to monitor your control center storage. For more information, you can check out the Zenpack catalog page. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.